हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन लेट अस सोल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ कंपोजिट शाफ्ट ए कंपोजिट where it is given that there is a copper rod of 30 mm diameter there is a steel tube whose external diameter is 50 mm and internal diameter is 30 mm because it is 10 mm thick the shaft is required to transmit a torque of 1000 newton meter we have to determine what is the shear stress developed in copper and what is the shear stress developed in steel the length of the both the shafts is equal also as you know that in compound shaft the angle of twist is also equal in this question we are given with a composite shaft basically a copper shaft is there and then there is a steel tube and copper shaft is surrounded by a steel tube and a torque is applied on this composite system that is 1000 newton meter it is given that the length of the both the shaft is same and because is a composite system parallel system so the angle of twist will be also be same right we have already studied that angle of twist in this case is always same so theta in steel should be equal to theta in copper and it is given that modulus of rigidity of steel equal to double of modulus of rigidity of the copper and we have to find out <coughs> the stress is developed in the steel and maximum stress is developed in steel and copper this we have to find out the stress is developed in copper and steel maximum stress is developed in the copper and steel and maximum stress will be developed at the outer fiber of the both the materials so in this question uh, first of all it is given that the thickness thickness of the material is given thickness of the material given is 10 mm 10 mm and outer dia is given 50 mm so outer dia of the steel if we are talking about steel steel outer dia given is uh, 50 mm 50 mm then what is inner dia if thickness given is 10 mm you know that the formula that inner dia is outer dia minus 2 times thickness inner dia is outer dia minus 2 times thickness right so this should be equal to 50 minus 20 that should be equal to 30 mm and also and the if you talk about copper the diameter of the copper is diameter of the copper is also 30 mm so inner dia of the steel is equal to outer dia of the copper our dia of the copper right so this we should remember so angle of twist is same in both and we know that the torque applied will be shared by steel and copper based on their material properties so t steel t will be equal to t shared by steel plus t shared by copper because it is a parallel combination of the shafts materials right t is equal to ts plus tc right and theta s what is theta s that is theta s is uh, you know theta is given by tl upon gj this is a formula for uh, the theta angle of twist so ts ls upon gs js should be equal to t copper l copper by g copper j copper so here l is same g is twice of the g of the copper and uh, j is we know pi by 32 d to power 4 so from here we can find a relation between ts and tc so suppose we want to find tc so tc will be equal to tc will be equal to uh, gc by gs 
GC by GS multiply JC by GS JC by JS multiply TS so this will come out to be TC will be equal to GC by GS GC is 2 times GS so it will become 2 JC JC is copper pi by 32 d to the power 4 dia is how much of the copper 30 to 30 to the power 4 divided by pi by 32 d outer minus d inner power 4s so 50 power 4 minus 30 power 4 so this is the polar moment of inertia of both the materials multiplied by ts so now we have all the values all the values gs gs will cancel out so all the values are given to us we will get a relation between tc and ts so finally we will get a relation between tc and ts as tc will be equal to solve it and you will get 0 0.075 0 0.075 ts so this will be the relation obtained between tc and ts now what we have to find out shear stresses shear stresses but for that we should know the torque on each shaft torque in steel and torque in copper so torque in, and if it, this is tc plus ts is one this is first equation this is second equation solve one and two solve one and two and you will get the uh, tc and ts right so tc plus ts is 1000 so tc plus ts equal to 1000 because total load applied torque applied is 1000 newton meter so this is 1000 so here TC 0 0.075 TS plus TS equal to 1000. So from here you find out TS and TC. So TS will come out to be solving it you will find out TS. So TS will come out to be 931 Newton meter 931 Newton meter. So put this value of TS here and find out TC. So TC will come out to be the torque in copper, torque in copper will come out to be 69.3, 69.3 Newton meter. So these are the torques obtained for these values, right? So this is how we have obtained the torque. Once the torque is obtained, we can find out now the shear stresses, shear stresses in both the materials, right? So how can we find out shear stresses? Shear stress occurs at the outer periphery of the material. So TS is known to us, TC is known to us. Now find out shear stress. Tau S will be equal to, you know T by J is equal to tau by R. T by J equal to tau by R, tau max by R, right. From here you can find out the shear stresses, shear, uh, shear stress which we have to find out, tau tau for steel and that will be equal to tr by j tr by j of steel both of, of steel so tau steel will be equal to t t for steel is known to us 931 931 r r is d by 2 d by 2 for steel outer dia outer dia outer dia because shear stress maximum occurs at outer dia 50 50 by 2 so this is 0 0.05 by 2 50 mm means 0 0.05 meter by 2 divided by pi by 32 outer dia minus inner dia to the power 4 right so outer dia to the power 4 minus inner dia to the power 4 this is 0 0.05 to the power 4 minus 0 0.03 to the power 4 so this is the shear stress developed in the material so tau in the steel so tau s is given by solve it and you will get the answer so this will come out to be the shear stress in steel as uh, 43.6 43.6 mega pascal so this is the one of the answer Next is shear stress in copper. So tau C will be equal to TC RC by JC. 
टॉर्क इन कॉपर रेडियस ऑफ कॉपर आउटर रेडियस ऑफ कॉपर एंड पोलर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ द कॉपर सो टॉर्क इन कॉपर इज वी हैव ऑप्टेन 69.3 सो so 69.3 रेडियस ऑफ कॉपर दिस डिवाइड डाया डिवाइड बाय 2 30 बाय 2 सो 0.03 डिवाइड बाय 2 डिवाइडेड बाय पाई बाय 32 डी टू द पावर 4 सो डाया इज 0.03 0.03 टू द पावर 4 इन मीटर्स राइट एवरीथिंग विल कम इन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर वी कैन कन्वर्ट दैट इन मिलीमीटर so shear stress in copper the maximum shear stress in copper will come out to be 13.1 mega pascal so this is the another answer of this question so what was that question there was a composite system of steel and copper there it is actually a parallel combination in which the angle of twist remains same so angle of twist is same means we can say that theta s and theta c are same so we have applied this concept what is theta that is tl by gj tl by gj of steel will be equal to tl by gj of copper and also we know that the torque will be shared um, by the both the materials depending on their material properties so ts plus tc should be equal to the total torque so from this we have got a relation between tc and ts the torque shared by copper and torque shared by steel we have obtained a relation another equation is tc plus ts is equal to t and torque is applied is 1000 newton it is given to us torque applied is 1000 newton it was given to us newton meter given to us right so tc plus ts is 1000 newton meter obtain solve it and you will get the relation between ts and tc so ts is 931 approximately 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 it is 931 and tc is 69 exactly if you want to write here you can write 69 60 rather than point 3 you can write only 69 because total sum should be 1000 so total sum is 1000 so 69 newton meter so ts is 931 tc is 69 newton meter so we have obtained these two relation two uh, uh, values we have obtained put these values here in this relation tau is tr by j put these values and got the shear stress in steel put these values and got the shear stress in copper and this is how we can solve the problem of the composite shaft